Also in Mexico City tonight is CNN's Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CBS News contributor. Sanjay, what are you seeing on the ground there? Well, you know, we, we are sort of at the ground zero, if you will, Katie. This is the hospital where they've taken care of most of the early cases of swine flu. On one hand, you have a pretty profound response from the government, as Hari was just describing, school shutdown, churches. It was sort of a ghost town here over the weekend. On the other hand, there's not enough supplies to take care of the nearly 20 million citizens who live here. About 4 million masks only, about a million doses of Tamiflu. People are starting to get concerned about that. I also understand that some of the hospital workers uh, with whom you've spoken have some troubling complaints. Is that true? Yeah, this was very interesting to us, Katie. Uh, these, these hospital workers who've been taking care of many of these swine flu patients since the beginning uh, suddenly came out uh, while we were filming today and started this protest uh, complaining that many of them didn't have enough masks, there weren't enough to go around, and there weren't enough medications either. And keep in mind, these are the people who are coming in the closest contact with these patients. So, you know, this is sort of the chaos that we're seeing starting to develop in, to some extent, Katie. And Sanjay, what are the symptoms of swine flu? I know you've probably said this many times, and how does it differ from ordinary flu? Well, when you talk about ordinary flu, you talk about the things like the cough, the body aches, uh, people may get headache. Uh, fever even, but when you start to talk about swine flu, we've talked to several doctors who, who said there's some differences. The fever is immediate, it's very high, usually over 103 degrees. Dizziness is something that comes on suddenly, and also a lot of the gastrointestinal complaints, such as nausea and vomiting, seem to be consistent. All right, Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Sanjay, thanks so much.